We are quickly going to discuss the ratio of tan theta in terms of a right angled triangle. We'll also look at the function or graph of tan theta and discuss tan theta in terms of the Cartesian plane. First, let us discuss the ratio of tan theta in terms of a right angled triangle. The definition of the ratio of the tangent of theta is the length of the opposite side divided by the length of the adjacent side. So it is opposite over adjacent. And when the triangles are represented in the first quadrant, we can see that opposite is now represented by y because it's opposite of theta and the adjacent side is now represented by x. So in this example, tan of theta is equal to y over x. Next, we have the graph of the tangent of theta. Notice that the graph has two asymptotes at 90 degrees and 270 degrees. What it means is that at these values, the tan of theta would never intersect or touch these lines. So an asymptote is a value where a graph or a function does not exist. So the tangent of theta does not exist at 90 degrees and it also doesn't exist at 270 degrees. We can see that from 0 to 90 degrees, the tangent of theta gets extremely positive. It will get extremely close to 90 degrees, but it will never intersect that graph. But directly after 90 degrees, the graph is very negative. Or, or it produces a really negative result. And then closer to 270 degrees from the left, it's an extremely positive result. But just after 270 degrees, the tangent of theta flips to a negative result. Now let us use the function of the tangent of theta to discuss the property of tan theta in terms of the Cartesian plane. In the first quadrant between 0 and 90 degrees, we can see that the tangent of theta produces positive results, meaning the values are above the x-axis and it produces positive values of y. So tan theta is positive in the first quadrant. In the second quadrant between 90 and 180 degrees, we can see that the tangent of theta is negative, meaning below the x-axis and that it will produce negative y values. So in the second quadrant, tan is negative, but it flips back to positive in the third quadrant. So between 180 degrees and 270 degrees, we can see that tan of theta produces positive results. So tan theta is positive in the third quadrant. And lastly, in the fourth quadrant, from 270 degrees up until 360 degrees, we again see that the tangent of theta produces negative values, so values below the x-axis. So we say that the tangent of theta is negative in the fourth quadrant.